the Lord gave me a revelation about the spirit of vengeance and how it looks like in the dream. Let's go. The spirit of vengeance is the spirit of vampirism. Now, y'all probably saying, how is the spirit of vengeance the spirit of vampirism? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let me explain. When a person is constantly seeking vengeance, constantly seeking the head and the blood of his enemies, that will appear to the individual in the dream as either people trying to be vampires towards you in the dream, or you yourself are being vampire towards others in the dream and you're seeking revenge towards individuals. This has to do with unforgiveness, bitterness, grudges of the heart. So if you ever had a vision of you being a vampire in the dream or people who are vampires in the dream coming after you represents the spirit of vengeance. So how do we deal with the spirit of vengeance? Knowing this knowledge that we know right now. Well, let's look at the Bible. The Bible says, vengeance is of the Lord. He will repay. So you shouldn't try to take your vengeance out on people of your past, people who have done you wrong, people who have caused you offense. Because when you don't forgive that brother or sister, who have caused you wrong and offense, you are also an offense and total violation of Christ. Because those individuals, which is your brothers and sisters, are in the image and likeness of Christ. Therefore, it's very important that you forgive your brother and forgive your sister because that unforgiveness, that bitterness and grudge is what is a legal doorway for the spirit of vengeance in your life. Here is a prayer point that you can use if you're dealing with the spirit of vengeance. Spirit of vengeance, I cancel your assignment over my life, over my ministry, over my destiny in Jesus name. For it is written, vengeance is of the Lord. He will repay. Amen.